of Celtic Knot Crochet and today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a small tassel with the Clover Tassel Maker. It comes like this in the package. I used it to make tassels for my free pattern that's on my blog, the Fairy Garden Mandala. So you can find the pattern to that and a video tutorial to that on my YouTube channel, CelticKnotCrochet.com. This one makes three different sizes, as you see, two inch tassels, one and nine sixteenth, and one and three sixteenth. And if you want one even smaller than that, uh, you put it on the smallest setting and then trim the tassel to the length that you would like. When you take it out of the package, you also will find some instructions, which could be helpful, but I'll show you all you need to know to make the tassels. This here is the gadget that you will wrap the thread around. These little buttons here adjust the size, so if you loosen them, you can pull it all the way out and then your tassel would be half of this length because you fold what you're wrapping in half. But I wanted mine to be the smallest, so I had it all the way down where this edge here and this edge meet up with each other. And if you look here on the back and on the side, you can see there are markers here that mark where to set the gadget for the different sizes of tassels. So I'm going to tighten these knobs so that it's the width I like. And this here is considered the front of the gadget and you can see it says clover right there. And you're actually going to want to start winding the thread on the back. And here you can see these arrows, this small arrow and this small arrow show you the center of the smallest tassel and you'll need that for when you're joining the threads together. I'll show you. This opening down here is where you want to start the thread and it grabs it nicely for you. So I grab the thread inside and it holds it nicely and secure and then I'm going to wrap it around. Now for my tassels I wrapped about 21, 22 times. The directions recommend that you wrap about 25. It really depends on how full you would like your tassel. If you want it really fat and chunky, I would wrap it more than 25 times. But about between 21, 22, and 25 is about the minimum in order to get the top to look right. Then when you're finished wrapping, you're going to put the thread through this side and pull it down, and again, that keeps it nice and taut, and it doesn't lose its spot. And what I discovered is if I cut this length a little bit longer than necessary, maybe about 8 to 10 inches, Later on, once I've trimmed the tassel, this will be an extra that I can use to help me in finishing the tassel, you'll see. So this is how your tassel maker should look. The next important thing is that you need a cord or a hanger to insert inside the tassel. So you might want to use a silk cord that's thicker than the thread. I decided for my mandala project that I would create these bead lengths and at the bottom of the bead length I created a nice overhand knot and you could make that even bigger if you like by just putting another knot on top of the knot. You need something with a knot because inside the tassel that's going to hold it all together and you're going to secure the center of the tassel to that knot and it'll prevent it from falling off but it'll also give it a nice seamless way of attaching it 
to wherever you want the tassel to hang from. So that's what I learned when I experimented with this, was whatever you want to use to hang your tassel, make sure you have a nice knot in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this knot in between all the wrapped threads. So see how there's this gap in there? I'm going to put that end with the knot through here, like so, and lay it inside. You can see that bottom knot, and I'm going to make sure that when I tie the thread around that I'm making sure that that will be underneath. I'll show you what I mean right now. So I'll lay that there for now. I need a length of thread. Again, about 8 inches gives you plenty to work with. And I'm going to wrap the thread around all of those 21, 25 times. And this is where I'm using those side arrows right here that mark the center. So I want to try to tie my knot around these threads as close as I can to the center. At the same time, I want that knot, there's that knot, see that knot? I want that knot to be below where I'm going to tie this knot. And again, if you miss it, you can always adjust. So, tying a knot. As tight as I can right here. While I'm holding it tight, I'm going to do another knot on top of that. Okay, and you can see, see my knot right below where I tied it off. That's going to help anchor the tassel to my bead length. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the thread through to the front side and flip it over. So here's the front with the white knobs and I'm going to tie it again really really tight. In the directions they say that you can use a different type of thread than what matches. Uh, you could use a very strong cording, a special kind of sewing thread that is really good like upholstery thread for this kind of thing. Dental floss probably would work well too but I found that this cotton crochet thread size 10 works great and it makes it nice and tight. So now that I have my hanging string secured inside there with that knot sitting inside, I'm now going to cut these threads to turn it into the tassel. And as you can see, along the top edge there's this channel that's perfect for fitting your scissors into. Like that. And I want to keep holding this whole gadget and the threads in it until I've cut this bottom. Alright, there we go. Now it all falls off of the gadget. And I remember I cut this thread extra long, so I'm going to take that off and I'll be using it to tie up the tassel in a minute. So here you can see it looks like a sheath of wheat and my cord or my bead length is coming up from the inside so I want to turn it and I can see half of the threads on one side of the bead length and half on the other you see that and this is where it's gonna look nice if you fold these down on either side of that center length. And see how that creates that nice top to the tassel by folding them down like that. And then you work your fingers around 
And there you make sure everything's hidden inside. It's kind of like a little head of hair. Okay, and now that I have it like that, I can lay out this piece of thread. Lay the tassel on top. It depends how far up you want to tie it. So how big you want the top of your tassel to be. All depends on you. No right or wrong. Now the directions tell you a certain way to do this. I tried it and I found it was hard to do it more than that first time. So I just found that tying a nice tight overhand knot and then while I'm trying to hold it as tight as possible, do another knot on top of that. But wrap the left side around the back and up to this side. And wrap the right side around the back and up to this side like that. And then tie it again in a double knot. You don't want those threads coming out. Nice and tight there. And one more knot on top, like that. You can see how it looks, and it's nice and secure. I'm tugging on that length, and I've caught the knot inside here, so that's not going anywhere. I found it looked best if you hide these tying threads inside the tassel. So I threaded it on my needle, and I'll go down through the head of the tassel like so. Pull it through and I'll do the same thing with the other one and then you can't see them but that knot is still there nice and secure. And then the last thing is you just want to trim your tassel so it's the length you like. Just give it a haircut. If you miss a few, no biggie. It's easy to go back. See, that one's a little bit longer. Just go back and even it up. And that center different color from our chain length. Well, we tied it off in a knot at the end. So I'll clip that as close up as I can so you can't see that. If you wanted to use a different color. And there you have it. A little tassel made with Clover's small tassel maker. And I'll attach that to my fairy garden mandala so it looks something like this. And you have some nice embellishments. So I highly recommend this gadget if you would like to make nice, uniform, pretty tassels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and watch the next video on how to make this fairy garden mandala. Happy crocheting!